It's all the way on the other side though. So I might have to turn around. You may be asking why we gathered you here. All right, we have arrived at our destination. Yeah. What does that sound for? I actually don't remember where our RV is. All right guys, it is day two of RV ownership. This morning, I learned how to refill the water on the tank, because we are out of water. So if you look here, they've got this little thing that says fresh water. So if I press that, it shows that we have two thirds water. So we figured out how to fill that up outside using a garden hose. So that was fun. We just had lunch. We made sandwiches. Um, Levi's still waking up, getting dressed. How you doing, man? We are parked right now at a gas station because this will be also a learning curve. Never put gas in this thing. Um, we looked up the specs and ours is 12.5 and the clearance here is 16 feet. So we should be good. And my plan, um, I kind of drove for a while down this road just to try to find one where I could pull in to get gas and then like maybe back out or pull back out. So this one, hopefully I can accomplish that to be determined. Uh, what else? What do we do? Oh, this morning we cooked breakfast. Lacey made breakfast on the stove. We did eggs and bacon. And so right now the slides are in. So that's why this is like so slender, but this whole thing slides out, this slides out to give a better walkway. But when it's closed and we're driving, they've got to be in. So let me see what we got going on back here. Who's back here? I am. What are you doing in here, man? Playing roadblocks. Roadblocks. And who's back here? What's up? What's up, dudes? What are you watching? TV. Um, we just got off of a work meeting. Um, so we're able to do that from the road via Zoom. And so that was a few hours this morning. Right now, Carrie's putting the slide out. So this is getting bigger by the minute. So much more room for activities right here. Actually, we just need to get the backpack out because we still have school. Is this the last week of school? We have two days next week. They have to go to school through Wednesday the 20th. So we only have this week and a couple days next week of school. So how do you feel about that, man? Bad. Bad? Well, we're going to get through it. Come up here. We need to tell you something. Family meeting in the dining room. <laughs> have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Oh, it's hot in here, man. Yeah, why? We can turn, we can turn the AC on. It's hot in here, man. We need some AC. How do you turn on the AC? I don't know. On? Oh, oh, well, yeah, just on. mode. Yeah, mode. Cool. Oh, that's it. That's it. And it's going to kick on. See? Yeah. All right. You may be asking why we gathered you here. Is anyone asking that, or you all know why we gathered you here? I don't, we don't know. We don't know. What do, you, what do we have to tell them? You guys have to do your schoolwork. It's school time. That's the announcement. We are going to the beach. Yeah! We're going to Myrtle Beach, but and we're gonna go to a campground so we can actually like put all the slides out and like live in it. For, we're only doing one night. You said the campgrounds were all booked. Well, they were, but I found one spot. So, so when when Lacey said um, we're just going home after this, you like smiled, and I was wondering why you like were smiling. Uh, Mom. I I was thinking, and I said, "Are we going to the beach?" But I, then I uh, thought we were going to a different place. You did, yeah. Well, so we're gonna go, and we'll. Add, this will be the first time that Dad has to learn how to like do the sewage. Uh, <laughs> I, th I I and deem we'll water. Landon's in charge of the sewage. No. The poop. The I poop said pump. not it before anyone. And we'll get to put the whole thing out and actually like organize since last time. And Dad doesn't know, out. so he has to do it. <laughs> what? Dad has to you fall. do your fair share. Thank you. Lawson actually gets the award for the first person to do number two in the RV. 
like five seconds in. <laughs> An hour and 45 minutes till we get there. So you guys have to do homework. Like it needs to get done. You can use my computer now to do the thing. But I'll do the computer stuff and then my regular stuff. Oh. Yeah. We gotta get gas and figure all that. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys something outside real quick. When you open this door, then the stairs come for you. So that's kind of nice. There's the slide, so that area that they bump out like that. And I'll show you what I figured out this morning figured out that it takes regular gas and that the gas tank is just at the rear so my plan is going to be to kind of pull up right here use up both of those spaces and fill up from the rear there so this is what i figured out this morning was this is kind of all the water stuff so here i can connect just a regular hose to have active pressure for like when we're parked and then this one fills up the water tank that's all I know for now. We're literally just figuring out this as we go. Like one thing, I've like, hey, we need to level the RV. How do we do that? We need to get gas. How do we do that? So it's definitely an adventure. We're in it together. Lawson's showing how that retracts. And now we're locked out. Are you gonna fit in there? Okay, the e-brake's on. Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's see if that's close enough. It's all the way on the other side, though. So I might have to turn around. Will this reach? Uh. All right, let's see if this fits. Let's see if it's close enough. Yeah, oh, $65 for half. We were half full, so that's pretty expensive to fill up. South Carolina, yeah. Where's Lawson? What was that sound for? Where's Lawson? Successfully gassed up the RV for the first time. Now we're gonna get down the road and head to this place that we booked. And um, once we get there, we'll put out the slides and give you like a full tour of it because right now it's everything's kind of condensed in, but we should be there. How long, how long is it going to take to get there? Hour and 45 minutes. That means more practice, not going off the road. All right, we have arrived at our destination and I'm navigating some narrow roads with the RV, which is par for the course. There's mom up there. She's got a golf cart. I see the beak. I see the beak. I don't. Okay, let's see. One of these spots is gonna be like where we park ours. Is this our spot? Like, that she's turning on right now? I have never backed up into a spot, so we'll see how this goes. Are so good. Like great. Huh? You did that so easy. Well, I'm impressed. Been practicing all. For this. I've been practicing all day. Hey. Hey there, neighbor. Come on in. Give you a tour of the RV. Here it is with the slides all the way out. Here's the kitchen. We got double sink. Cook. We got a little oven there too. Full size microwave, popcorn, and lazy dinners. Over here is a full size refrigerator. I mean, it's smaller than our fridge at home, but it's like deep, so we can actually fit food in there. So here's our stuff that we plan to eat during this trip. Landon's over here in the dining room which also comes out as like a bed. Or no, it goes this way, right? Mm -hmm. So put something like here, and then this can come out, and then that's like some sleeping space. You can watch this TV from this living room area. These guys are ready to go to the beach. And now I have my suitcase. That's not your suitcase, that's a chair. That's not a suitcase. 
Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, agree to disagree. Um, this is the living room Lacey's living in. Whose bed is this? Uh, me and Levi's. Lacey and Levi's? My, my bed is that one. We're going to get to yours in a second. This comes all the way down from up here, which is one of the things that we like really wanted to be able to have another bed space that's kind of separate that you can kind of have in the evening after we're tired and whatever for and the kids to kind of hang. You can do pull-ups there, Lawson says. So this is another slide right here. So this bump all the way out there. So you basically have a wide area here. Mine. Who's up here? Me. Lawson's bed is up here. Landon claims the bottom bunk, and both of those have TVs and DVD players for them. This, I'm sure you'll see more of this because we're gonna be learning a lot about the RV as we go. We haven't even figured out what all this stuff does, but this is how you bump those slides in and out. Um, so a lot of this has to do with a hot water heater, TV, so that's a lot of learning curve for us. But that's right on the outside of this hall bathroom, which I'll let you take a look at. Which is just a, a vanity, storage, and toilet. That was really important to us too, just because two separate bathrooms, the kids can kind of do their teeth brushing in there um, and keep some of their stuff in there and kind of have it separate from the master. So here's the master. I'll show you this slide here. So this is part of that slide right there that goes out. So it leaves us with this walkway right here to get through to the bathroom. But I'll give you this view of the master. What size is this bed? Queen. Queen bed. Um, we slept on it last night for the first time. What would you what would you say like scale of one to ten comfort level? Yeah, yeah. It's not it's not very comfortable. Um, but I figured maybe we can get like a topper or something for yeah, it. Yeah, we should get a foam topper. Cause like I, I was, I was tossing and turning a little bit. Um, more storage up there. I've seen a lot of people like rip all this out and do stuff. We're, we're kind of planning on doing some renovations, but we're not sure what yet. Here's the master bathroom. So we have our own toilet. Um, there's the cabinet that we'd like to change to a washer dryer unit. So we'll have to measure and see if there's enough space. And then here's the vanity. So we can keep our like toothbrush and stuff, storage, and then a big shower. I showed you the shower before, but there's a little bit more daylight here. Um, and yeah, so that's the RV with the slides out. And anything else? All right, we just got to our first campground place ever. Hooked up the water, hooked up the sewer, hooked up the electricity, hooked up the TV, and now we're gonna lock it up and go to the beach. Kids are anxious, we've been on the road all day, so we will see you on the beach. This is my first time in the sun this season, so I'm gonna do the right thing and get some sunscreen on. News flash. South Carolina is not practicing any social distancing anymore. But either way, we're keeping our distance and the kids are having a blast. Dreamy he looks. Water park is here, a lot of activities are here. It's a really cool spot. Uh, I might have turned the wrong way. But that's because I'm videotaping and driving at the same time. This is not advisable. Don't drive a golf cart and try to vlog at the same time. So we're at this, this campground at Myrtle Beach and we got our site hooked up and now we're gonna go have some dinner. I actually don't remember where our RV is. 
We're having our first dinner in the RV. And I am not going to eat it. What? Yeah, you're going to eat it, man. Come on. Check it out. It smells good, too. Taco. Taco night. It's not Tuesday, but we're doing tacos. It's easy. Hot queso. We're trying to figure out the... Uh, TV. The TV too. We got the you antenna up. TV. And here it is. This is what dinner looks like now. Well, we wrapped up dinner. And we're going on one last and golf cart ride. But and Mommy and Landon are with us. Yeah, Mommy and Landon stay behind. We're just out enjoying the weather, enjoying the views. Taking one last ride for the day. It's been a good day. It's been a good um, orientation on learning how to use the RV and learning how to hook it up and everything. <laughs> These guys are just full of life right now. I remember being young and just being excited about vacation, just being somewhere different. So this is a lot of that. What do you think, Lace? How was your How was your day today? Good. We tried to make a pool in the sand, but then, but then it, it was too late, so we went back and we got ice cream. Yeah, all all good things. So we will keep you guys updated as we continue to learn about the RV and learn about how to do this successfully. Thanks for watching this vlog, and as always, we will keep you posted. See you soon.